live to visuals of Prime Minister Modi who visited the Kaziranga National Park in Assam early this morning. Prime Minister Modi's jungle safari, you see those pictures exclusively here on India Today. The first Prime Minister, in fact, to spend the night at Kaziranga. Prime Minister Narendra Modi arrived in Assam for a two-day visit. He arrived in Assam last evening. He went on a safari early this morning. He will also uh, be dedicating projects uh, in Jorhat later in Assam and addressing a rally over there as well. So he is going to inaugurate and lay the foundation stone for projects worth 18,000 crore rupees later in Assam. Prime Minister Modi, he mm -hmm. took the elephant and jeep safari inside Assam's Kaziranga National Park and Tiger Reserve. This, in fact, his maiden visit to the UNESCO World Heritage Site. He first took the elephant safari in the Mihimuk area of the central Kohora range of the park, followed by the jeep safari inside the same range. So those pictures you see of Prime Minister Modi on his jungle safari. Early this morning, he was expected to have been there by about 5.45 a.m. this morning at the Kaziranga National Park and Tiger Reserve, which is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Kaziranga National Park, in fact, is famous, viewers, for one-horned rhinoceros also. Elephants, wild water buffalo, swamp deer and tigers are found in this national park which is very famous and several of course wildlife enthusiasts visit Kaziranga National Park as well. This is the Prime Minister's maiden visit though to the Kaziranga National Park. As he's in the area, he's decided to go on this early morning jungle safari. He will be in Jorhat later this afternoon. Jorhat is not very far from Kaziranga National Park. So this is, viewers, on route between Guwahati and Jorhat, where you can stop if you're on a ride to Jorhat. Uh, you can stop at Kaziranga National Park. The Prime Minister me? there, in fact, early this morning, on that jungle safari. We're getting you these exclusive pictures from that morning, early morning safari that the Prime Minister took in Kaziranga National Park. So he went on an elephant safari, as you can see. He first took that elephant safari in the Mihimuk area of the central Kohara range of the park, followed by the jeep safari inside the same range. He, in fact, landed in the Golaghat district of Assam. So he got a sense of uh, the diverse and beautiful culture, as he said, of uh, Assam. So he landed in Golaghat in Assam, his second visit to Assam in as many days. Today, of course, uh, he will be dedicating several projects to the Northeast, uh, his Vixit Bharat, Vixit Northeast push. The Prime Minister, in fact, from here, will be headed to Itanagar. And subsequent to that, he will be back in Chorhat for that program, that public program. Suryagni, my colleague, is joining us for more on this. Uh, the Prime Minister, of course, waking up early this morning, Suryagni, for that beautiful safari that he's taken in the Kaziranga National Park. Well, absolutely, Polony. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, what, uh, what we are gathering is that, you know, he's the uh, first uh, Prime Minister to uh, stay overnight at Kaziranga in uh, almost uh, 50 years. So this is a very, very interesting development that has happened. And we saw these wonderful visuals of the jungle safari he's, uh, he's participating at, uh, where, uh, you know, he is uh, inside uh, the uh, very famous Kaziranga uh, National Park in Assam. Now, uh, you know, Polami, uh, projects worth 18,000 crore plus will be... Uh, uh, you know, uh, will be flagged off by the Prime Minister. Uh, the foundation stones will be laid off uh, in, in a short while from now. And as you were mentioning, it's just not Assam, but also Assam and the following which he will be visiting Arunachal. And after that, he'll be back in Jorhat. And then from there, he'll not, you know, he's not going to Delhi, but he's coming to West Bengal. He has an event in Shiliguri in North Bengal. So it's a very, you know, it's a push... Uh, uh, to not only to northeast, uh, northeastern states, but also to development projects in North Bengal as well. It's a very, very, you know, uh, hectic uh, uh, schedule uh, that we can understand for the Prime Minister, and which is very much focusing not only on uh, northeast, 
but also the northern part of west bengal back to you uh, well. Absolutely. And of course, uh, the East has been a frontier to some extent, the Northeast, uh, where the BJP has managed to, over the last 10 years, find its own footprint as uh, well. But of course, West Bengal continues to be a frontier. Odisha continues to be a frontier that they hope to conquer in the coming years. Now, of course, forging alliances, at least in Odisha, in order to make that a smoother process. But as far as Northeast is concerned, uh, Suryagni, how confident is the BJP? BJP about its performance in the upcoming Lok Sabha elections. Well, Polony, as you mentioned, almost let's say 10 years back, the BJP was not really in a very good position in the Northeast. Uh, uh, however, in the past 10 years, a lot of things has, uh, you know, has changed. And today, we can rightly say that as of now, politically, be, uh, the Northeast, all these states are, you know, uh, they mm -hmm. are a stronghold of the NDA. Mm -hmm. uh, and the BJP as well. Look at any state of the Northeast, be it Nagaland or Arunachal or uh, uh, even uh, uh, Tripura. Uh, all these states are very much, uh, you know, they have they, uh, they have become ports of the Northeast, especially Assam, which is considered to be one of the, uh, you know, high performing BJP states uh, 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 as for the BJP leaders themselves. So currently, uh, the BJP has a very, very strong footing over there in, throughout the Seven Sisters of Northeast. And maybe that is the reason why, you know, uh, Rahul Gandhi started his Nyayatra from there uh, to, uh, from Manipur, from Northeast, uh, the, to, you know, trying to uh, make sure that, uh, you know, uh, some kind of a resilience or some kind of a political, uh, you know, fight can be given to the BJP because uh, as of now, as we have been uh, seeing for the past 10 years, electorally uh, uh, and politically, uh, follow me, the Northeast, the Seven Sisters are very much in the grip of the BJP when we, uh, when we do any kind of a political analysis of sorts.